going to show you the five best kettlebell exercises for your abs and midsection, okay? So forget about the crunches and let's go kettlebells. First exercise Chris is going to do are windmills. Braced ab, strong torso all the time, okay? Don't let your back round. And again, we're doing exercises standing up because we're bracing our abs, working them just as hard as you could, possibly doing crunches on the ground. But you're going to get done faster. You're not going to have to train your abs for 30 minutes every day with this system. All right, so after Chris does windmills, the second exercise we're going to show you, I'm going to do kettlebell swings, and Chris is going to tell you about them. Kettlebell swings are a very important exercise in that they work your abs the way they're meant to be worked, which is by stabilizing them. So you'll notice that all Craig's doing is using his hips and his legs to drive the kettlebell forward, keeping his brace. His arms are just along for the ride. you notice that he's braced right at the top, and he's keeping his brace at the bottom, maintaining a flat back. Those are two-arm kettlebell swings, one of the best ab, work, ab exercises that you can do with a kettlebell. All right, next up, Chris is going to do around the world. Can you use this one? Yeah. All right, so he's going to use the around the world 53-pound kettlebell. And what he's doing, again, bracing his abs, squeezing his glutes, maintaining an upright torso, and just going around as fast as possible with the kettlebell in one direction, then switch it up, resisting rotation. That's a big key point to that exercise. Same thing I'm going to do in the next one, which are kettlebell renegade rows. So the big misconception about renegade rows is that it's an upper body exercise, which in part is true. But what you want to remember is that as soon as you remove one of the pillars of your arm, your abs have to work extra hard to make sure that your torso doesn't rotate. So in doing that, Craig's got to keep his glutes nice and tight, he's got to keep his abs nice and tight, and he's got to maintain ultra focus in getting these done. Good job. And you may have noticed there I had a pretty wide base of support with my feet because I haven't done those in a while, and they literally are one of the hardest ab exercises you can do. The next one Chris is going to do is called a halo. And again, all comes back to resisting rotation, bracing the abs, and focusing on doing that type of movement rather than crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay, so forget about the crunches, get with the kettlebells, kick the crunches to the curb. So those are the five best upper body abdominal, torso exercises you can do with kettlebells at home in a very small amount of space without ever suffering the dishonor of lying on the ground and doing crunches.